Hey everybody, Matthew here from MiniWargaming.com and welcome to another Beat Matt Bat Rep. Mini Wargaming's Beat Matt Bat Rep! Got Adam here all the way from Kitchener yep. to play a awesome game of Warhammer 40k. We're going to be playing Tyranids versus Chaos Space Marines, the ultimate matchup at Mini Wargaming. Can Chaos Space Marines beat Tyranids? If it was Dave playing, the answer would be heck no. It's, it's going to happen this time. This, I, this I, time? I will avenge Dave and we will win. And there we are. Chaos there we go. <laughs> and of course, we're, gear, we're gearing up for events and more battle reports. If you want to come on into the Mini Wargaming Bunker, go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge. And we're going to start posting details of events there if we, they aren't already posted. It just depends on this video comes out. Or, and also, make sure you follow us at facebook.com slash miniwargaming. We put a lot of our details there as well of what is coming up. We also share stuff on Twitter and Instagram, but Facebook we use mainly for our, lots of our news stuff. So make sure you follow us. Let's just jump right into it, though. Let's take a look at the armies and the scenario. In this corner, we have 2,000 points of Tyranids. High Fleet Kronos, the father of the Titans. High Fleet Kronos is all about shooting and anti-psyker. Now the anti psyker won't really come into play. Well, I guess it could. It could. There's a couple psychers on the other side. But uh, essentially, its high fleet adaptation is if you do not move, you get to reroll ones when shooting. And so I have uh, very little close combat in this army, besides what the monsters can do, which is not that much. But I have a whole heck of a lot of shooting. This is actually a brigade detachment, giving me a whole heck of a lot of CP as well. 12 command points from the detachment, plus the three for being battle forged. Over here, we've got all of our monsters. Our Turbagon, who will be the Warlord, and uh, he will be given the Warlord trait Synaptic Linchpin. Just gives him an extra six inch bubble for his synapse. I don't know if that'll really come up, but the Kronos one, uh, I guess, you know what? No, the Kronos one could come into play. You know what? I'm gonna do the Kronos one. I, I, I forgot that he had Psychers. So the Kronos one has an 18 inch bubble. If the Psyker fails a Psychic test, they take D3 mortal wounds. The Synaptic Lynchman just isn't necessary, so we'll go with the, the, the Kronos one. And then on top of that, we've got way back here, we got four heavy support in Exocrine, and then all three flavors of Tyranifexes. We've got the Rupture Cannon, which is all about huge damage, but it's only a few shots. We've got the Acid Spray, which is about bounding forward and auto hitting a ton of times and doing all sorts of damage. And we got the Flesh Bore Hive, which is about shooting tons and tons of shots and wiping out mobs of whatever it is that there are mobs of. Although you could also use the stratagem to make a plus one to wound, which actually makes it decent against monsters and vehicles as well. Then for our troop choices, left to right, we've got 11 Termagants. We got the extra one in there because I had four points left over. We've got three Warriors, Deathspitter, Sight and Talons. We've got a big blob of 30 Termagants, 10 Flesh Bores, 20 Devourers. So the Termagon can actually bring back Flesh Bore Termagants without paying reinforcement points. And so I like to have 10 of them in there, so those will be the first to die, and then they're the first to be rezzed as well. Or the only to be rezzed, really. We've got another unit of three Warriors with Deathspitters and Sight and Talons, and another Min Squad of 10 Termagants, and a Min Squad of three Ripper Swarms. Our cheeky fast attack is just three individual mucolid spores to fill out that. And then into our elite, we've got a lictor and two units of four zone throats. They're four because as long as they have more than three, they get to cast an extra or manifest an extra psychic power. And their smite does an extra D3 mortal wounds. The moment he kills one of them, they go back to just only one psychic power and the regular smite. Although their smite's always 24 inches, not 18. And to wrap out or fill out our other two HQ, we've got two Neurothropes, so we can have each of them babysit one of these squads, and that way we don't have to clump all the zone thropes together like I normally have to do with one Neurothrope. And we've got the whole platter of psychic powers, and so you just have to kind of wait to see what they all do. Oh, and the Turbagon has the bio artifact, the young girl factor, so in close combat, he randomly gets plus one strength, toughness, or attacks, and it changes every round. Uh, this, there really wasn't anything that would be super useful, so that is what I went with. So that is my 2,000 points of Tyranids. And over here we have Adam's Chaos Space Marines. We've got a triple detachment. Why don't you walk us through what you decided to bring here, Adam? Uh, so let's start on the front right. So we have a battalion of World Eaters. These are my custom chapter, the Angron's Nails. Um, 
So we have six, or sorry, seven man squad of um, corn berserkers. They're chain axe, chain swords, so they want to be in close combat. Um, we have the two rhinos, just a single combi bolter on uh, each one of those. And then a 10 man squad of cultists just to fill out the battalion. Um, our HQs, we have a Chaos Lord that is not Karn. That is not Merrick. Karn. <laughs> Merrick? Merrick. Merrick. Karn backwards. Okay. Does yeah. he have the Karn stats though? No, he's just a, a standard Chaos Lord with a chain axe and a, a plasma pistol. Awesome. Uh, and then we have an Exalted Champion with Power Axe and Bolt Pistol. Um, our next battalion, uh, more of a CP battery, so three 10 man squads of cultists. All the cultists are going to be WYSIWYG just because I want them to be WYSIWYG. Uh, and then we have two Demon Princes with wings. So on the left is uh, Demon Prince of Zeech. Uh, he's going to have Weaver of Fates to give plus one to other Zeech units uh, for the invul. Or a single model can have a, um, a plus one to their invul. And then this Creature Caster model, um, which is the Lord of Malice for them, um, we're going to run as a uh, Demon Prince of Slanesh. So that is from the company Creature Caster. Yeah. Yeah, it's an awesome model. Met them at Adepticon. Really... Uh, really great. Yeah, they got some fantastic looking models, that's for sure. And over here we have a spearhead detachment. This is actually going to be from the Vigil Vigilist Ablaze uh, campaign book. So we're going to run a Soul Forge pack. The HQ is going to be the Lord Discordant with a Bale Flamer. Um, he's going to be my Warlord as well, which probably isn't a great idea because he's got 12 wounds and you can shoot at him, but that's that's fine. It's um, more it's more thematic, right? Yeah, exactly. He's got to be. Yeah. Um, He's, so he's going to have, he's going to be my Warlord, he's going to take the Warlord trait from the Soul Forge pack, which gives plus two to movement for uh, any demon engines within six inches of him from that detachment. And that includes him, because he's, he's a yeah, demon exactly. engine as well. Yeah, so that, that and the two Mauler Fiends. And he's also actually going to have um, a relic, the Mecha, Tem the Mecha Tendril uh, relic from Vigilist of Blaze as well which gives him one attack for everybody within one inch of him when he's in close combat. Nice. So he likes being surrounded by lots of guys. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then we have the two Mauler Fiends. They're exactly the same. So uh, Lasher Tendrils and Fist, because I think they're an awesome model and they need to be seen more. And then finally, two units of some old school obliterators. Um, so they can drop in and, and blast away. And I still think they're worth the value even with the increase in points. Yeah, they can. They can be pretty good. Yep. As long as uh, they the roll decently for their strength and stuff, right? Yep. The only thing I say, I'm also going to spend one CP to give um, the Demon Prince of Slanesh the Intoxicating Elixir for plus one strength and plus one attack. Nice. And that is your 2,000 points of Chaos Space Marines. We're going to be playing on this hive-infested world. It's a Chaos Space Marine world where they were trying to, to corrupt it to chaos. And Tyranids had the audacity to come in and be like, no, we just want to eat everything. And so the Chaos Space Marines need to take back some area that has now been ingested. Uh, so we're going to be playing Strategic Gamble, Maelstrom of War. So there's six objectives as usual. It's Tactical Objective Cards. Has the same stuff, Refined Strategy, where you can remove six of them. Um, and also, you know, your first strike, Warlord kill, all that kind of stuff. But its special twist is that after you generate your objectives, you can choose to discard two of them to generate one more, and if you can get that one that turn, it get double the victory points for it. So that's its little twist to the, the normal take. We don't have, we don't know what our deployment is yet as we look at this. This mat is a table war mat. And then this uh, set of pre-painted terrain is from GameMat.eu. And then all the Tyranid stuff that you see, the, uh, the basis of it is from MicroArt Studios. So they have this really nice hard foam terrain for the stuff that looks perfect for Tyranids. And then Adam from Greenleaf Terrain actually made these. So he used a green leaf, and then he, he, we're using putty and stuff inside of there. He made those. So those are, if you're interested in any of those companies, we'll put a link in the video description below for you. So we are going to roll off and just get started and get deploying. We rolled off and uh, we got search and destroy, which is the two table corners, or two table quarters, and you just have to deploy nine inches away from the center. So it can be good to get a couple things close to for close combat, but our center is also pretty mucked up and blocked up. And uh, Adam, you're the one that won that roll off. I so I will deploy first will. and choose who goes first. And I will seize. <laughs> you will attempt to seize. Attempt.
Got a big old blob of Tyranids here ready to shoot up the other army. And then there's the other army. Chaos Space Marines. Now um, Adam's done a good job of hide, hiding his important guys, the Mauler Fiends, the Lord Discordant, and the Demon Princes from specifically the Exocrine and the Tyranifex back there with the Rupture Cannon. They could probably move and see them, but then they lose their double yeah. shooting and their extra stuff. And Oh, it's not going to matter because I'm about to seize. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, you're assuming I'm choosing to go first. Well, that's true. Out front we got Corn Berserkers and Rhinos, and then coming ready to deep strike in will be the two units, the two Obliterators. On my end, I got the three uh, Ripper Swarms tunneling underground, and there's secretly a Lictor hiding right here and you can't see him. Yep. Or maybe he's here. Or maybe he's here. Or maybe he's there. You'll never know. Well, you will. Well, yeah. well when it comes out. In the turn of, end of turn two or three. I will choose to go first. Roll that die right now. We're looking for that sweet, sweet Zeech. Nope. Nope. Tyranids, turn one. Quick shout out to Frontline Gaming for providing some really cool MDF stuff. We got our our uh, score counter and then also this awesome carry case that I use to separate all my markers and dice. So it's much more useful. So let's generate my tactical objectives. So on this one you generate back up to three. So if you have less than three you generate till you have three. So first ones will be secure objective four, secure objective one, and overwhelming firepower. Ooh, I like that. So the, in this mission, I can choose to discard two of these to, to choose to get a new one. And if I get that new one, I get double its victory points. So there is four, and there is one. Now I can get, I can get secure objective one if I want to move those termagants forward, which I probably will. Grab that. Or I could go for the, the chancy move and discard those two and generate a new one and hope to double it. it. I'm going to risk it. I want to. So we're going to discard these two. Generate one new one, you ready? Scour the skies. Crap. I gotta kill one of your demon princes. That's not gonna happen. Mainly because they are characters with less than 10 wounds, which means I can't even target them. Well, it was worth a try. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, advance each of the mucolids. They move three inches. So the first one will move an extra inch. Look at it go! Bruh. Next one will move an extra three inches! Woohoo! Double this move! Their job is just to be an annoyance. Essentially the way that spore mines work and mucolid mines work is at the end of the charge phase, any charge phase, if they're within three inches of an enemy, they blow up. You roll a die, on a one nothing happens, two to a five, these ones do D3 mortal wounds, and on a six they do D6 mortal wounds to that enemy unit that they, that they choose. So essentially you want to shoot them before you get in there, because you cannot fight them in close combat. They will be blown up by then. This mucolid will advance five. So their job is just to screen. They count for no victory points though. So if you kill them first turn, you don't get first strike. They don't hold objectives. If you have overwhelming firepower and you shoot one down, it doesn't count. They really just count as nothing. But you can also produce them for free. If you have things like the Sporosis that creates them for free, it doesn't cost reinforcement points. So that's kind of fun. I'm gonna advance this unit of Termagants. You know what? I'm gonna save you the, uh, the displeasure of watching me roll and advance and roll and advance. This is where everything starts. And they end up here. These two guys stood still so they could, uh, well, both of them get to double shoot because they have that heavy weapon platform thing. And he gets an extra plus one to hit on top of that. And then they both get to reroll ones because of High Fleet Kronos. Everybody else moved up. A lot of them advanced too. Um, not, this main bubble did not, nor did he. I advanced all my zone throws and neuro throws, of course, because that's what they do. Turvagon as well. And just holding objectives, not that any of them matter yet but more just trying to get in a position. My, my job right now is destroy both rhinos and then try to kill as much stuff inside as well. Psychic phase. We're going to start over here with a good old smite from this zone throat. Now the zone throat smite is 24 inches and its nearest target will be that rhino. We need a five. Oh, we got the 11! And since there's at least four of them, they do an extra D3 mortal wound. So we're doing D6 plus D3. D6 first. Um, 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 um. You know what? I got a crap ton of command points. I'm using one for a reroll right there. Three. Well, well, wasn't worth it. And D3. Well, you know what? Six mortal wounds. That's pretty darn good. That brings him down to four wounds. So the nice thing about Zone Thropes and Brotherhood of Psychers is you can choose who's doing the power, so that can manipulate who's closest. So for example, if I did this front Zone Thrope, I've done the measuring, it would hit this Rhino. But if I do this back one, who's slightly over, he actually is just slightly closer to the same Rhino. So we're going to do another smite there. 
Now, since this is my second smite, I need six or higher. Oh, we got a 10. If this was Age of Sigmar, that would be the D6 mortal wounds. So this is just two D3 mortal wounds. Can we do four? Oh, we did! Yes. Oh, we did! At six, it blows up. Oh, oh that's one. Oh, that's a one? That's a one. Six has the that, so that skull's one. Oh, I hate dice that have symbols on ones. So there was eight models inside, so every one will be a dead model of your choice. There's just one one. That's pretty one good. There. You could have easily got two or three. We'll take this guy. We're going to do a quick reposition because he forgot that the Neurothrope only has an 18-inch smite, and he put it on that side. If you put it on this side, though, I don't know if that'll save you. You know what? It doesn't matter. If you put it over here, you'd be in range of this Neurothrope. So right now, you're only in range of one. So let's do the Neurothrope smite. He'll need a seven or higher, and we got a six. No ones, because Neurothropes re-roll ones, and, and the zone thropes near them as well. So that plus one difficulty on smite saved you. Second power on these zone thropes is Catalyst. We're going to put it on these Termagants to give them a five up ignoring wounds. Need a six to manifest that, and we got a nine. We're also going to put from the other zone thropes, we're going to put, sorry, not zone thropes, from the Neurothrope onslaught onto this unit. I actually made a mistake. I advanced this Tyrant effects because I thought that he would disembark over here, but he's actually in range to shoot, so I really wish I didn't. But Onslaught doesn't help advancing and firing heavy weapons. What it does is it lets you move and fire heavy weapons with no penalty, or advance and fire assault weapons with no penalty. So we need a six. We failed. I'm not too sad about that. Oh, sorry, that was going to be on this squad, so they could shoot that, but it failed. Then we have the Horror from this zone throw group. We need a six to cast. I got a 10. I'll put it on the squad of Corn Berserkers. That gives them minus one to their hit rolls and leadership. And lastly, Psychic Scream from this Neurothrope. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, he did Onslaught. He's a Psychic Scream. Getting mixed up, that's right. And we get it. So it does D3 mortal wounds to those Corn Berserkers. One. one. Guy in the back. Oh, only one wound each, that's right. Ugh. Old Marines. Old. Into the shooting phase. Now I have overwhelming firepower, so I like to kill something with shooting. I should be able to. We're gonna start with my... Hmm... effects. He's gonna fire everything he can into this Rhino right here. So we got six shots instead of three because I did not move. Hitting on fours. Rerolling ones because I did not move. Oof, that was bad. Oh, didn't even get average. Ugh. Threes to wound. Well, I got both wounds at least. It's minus four AP. You're not getting a save. D6 damage each. Seven damage. The question is, do I want to re-roll this? Because we're in a new phase. Because you got ten, so I'd have to re-roll this and get a five plus to destroy it. So you know what? It's worth trying. I got lots of command points. No, no better. Okay. Two command points have failed me so far. Death Actually, no, that's not true. I got one more mortal wound because yeah, of the other yeah. command point, and I did exactly the number of mortal wounds yeah. to kill the last one, so I can't kill it. Well, this will be overkill, but the Exocrine will fire at that Rhino as well. Uh, he gets a double shoot. <laughs> I'm not going to use the strategy to make these damage three instead of two, because this should do the trick. He didn't move, so he hits on threes as well. Rerolling ones. Yeah, yeah this is yeah. so overkill. But you're probably happy to see me waste all these shots yeah, on a little... Uh, uh, I should have done this first. Yeah. I should have just done this first and killed the Rhino. We're looking at threes to wound, right? Hold on, I dropped that die, just count. Yep, threes. Yeah, yeah, it should kill it. So seven wounds, you get a six up save, because it's minus three. Yeah, it's gone. You make one, yeah, should have fired that first. On a six, it blows up. Nope. So you're dumping them out the back, because this is death zone. The 18 inch range of the other Tyrant effects with acid spray. So any ones and guys are dead. Once again, one. just one. That's not bad. When you're rolling that many dice, you'd expect a couple more. We'll take it for Every Termagant here that can will target and shoot at these uh, Corn Berserkers. So eight of them are in range, so we've got 24 shots hitting on fours. They did move, so they don't get to reroll ones. Toughness four on Corn Berserkers still, right? So fours to wound, rerolling ones because there's at least 20 of them in the unit. So there's two ones. Oh, not too many. Well, oh, there's a couple more. I like that. No AP, so three up saves. And oh, three, three die. die. So we're going to peel, I guess, the three guys here. So there's two left, because the other guy's yeah. exalted. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah, he's not. Lord. Oh, he's Castle Lord, that's right. And then anyone's in range will fire with their flush boards. They did advance, they did not get onslaught, so they'll be minus one to hit. Just five of them in range that I can see. Fives to hit. No, not bad. There's a couple. That's all. That's <laughs> but, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Fours to wound. Oh, that's one wound. Three up save. Oh, yeah, I don't want to get to reroll that one. Yeah, you're fine. 
These termagants will take some shots as well. Six of them are in range, but they did advance. Firing assault weapons. So we're hit. Oop, hitting on fives. One hit. Woo! Four to wound. No rerolling ones, because it's only if there's at least 20. Now we do have our morale phase. These guys are normally leadership eight, but they're down to seven because of the horror. Apparently, corn berserkers are terrified. They apparently are. Yeah, and they lost five of them. Yep. So if you you can roll one or two, you're fine. A three, you'll lose one. Just oh, you're one. good. You're good. They're insane. End of my turn because I'm not charging anything. I got overwhelming firepower for one victory point. I did also get first strike for a victory point because I killed something. And I am going to throw away Scour of the Skies. It is kill something with Fly, which is just as Demon Princes, which are characters with less than 10 wounds. So it's, it's possible that when he comes in this turn that I'd be able to shoot at them. Quite possible, actually. But I have a funny feeling he's going to use a more support. And I'd rather shoot at other stuff, to be honest. So I'm going to throw that one away. And I gained overwhelming firepower, so I have no objectives left. So we're good for next turn to draw three more. So the score becomes 2 nothing. Tier in its turn one. Draw your first three cards. So first one, defend objective three. Secure, secure objective, objective six. And no prisoners. Okay. So you have to, there is objective three and objective six. So you're gonna get rid of those? We are gambling. So just like the, the scenario says, this is a scenario specific thing. You can get rid of two, draw a new one, and so you can double it. Rise to glory. Score a victory point if at least one enemy character, vehicle, or monster was destroyed during this turn, and the last wound was inflicted by a character. All right, that's not gonna happen this no, turn. that's not gonna happen. Well, the easiest characters to kill would be the Neurothropes, but you'd have to do it with, you have to kill it with a character, and the only character you really have is that. This one, or that one, potentially. He's you think, it, you think it can get there? Range. Okay. Yeah, 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 or, yeah, no, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen this turn. I'm not saying that you won't be able to get it eventually. Either, but we're going to try for it. Yeah. So we're going to do a before and after the movement, just because we're not into super intricate movements yet. And just want to point out a couple things, though, with the Lord Discord and, and the, uh, what's the name of the detachment he brought? It's the Soul Forge Pack. Soul Forge Pack. While a Demon Forge engine from the same battalion, or from the same detachment as him, is within six inches of him, they get plus two move. So these will both have plus two move, but he will not. Unless you decided to waste your move and only go here, and then he'd get plus two. But then he'd be blocked by the very thing, giving him plus two move. So, we'll see. So we got our before... And ended up here. A couple things of note. This one advanced, but you do have a stratagem that will allow you to charge even though you advanced. He advanced too, but he was so far away it didn't matter. You got your demon princes up there advancing. And you are in my face! And you're really worried about my spores, so you got your cultists in a place to try to shoot them down, because why waste better firepower than that? And now the psychic phase. You've got two psychers here. I, let's check to see if they're within Shadow of the Warp. I don't think so. So they both are actually in Shadow of the Warp, thanks to the Turbagon and the Warriors. So they're both going to be at minus one to their casting, to manifesting. What first? So first up, we're going to do Weaver Fates onto the Lord Discordant to give him plus one to his invul. What's his invul right now? Uh, five. Okay, so, so this comes a four. This comes a four. That's reasonable. If it's yeah. like a four up to a three up, ugh. No, what do you, what do you need yet. normally? Uh, so seven. We need normally a six. We need a seven. That goes off. So that's a nine, and you needed a uh, six. six. Yeah, we needed okay. a six. I, hold on. Well, you know what? I think I have more denies than you, you have, have powers. We, I, only, I only catch one each. So. so I'll try to deny. I need a 10 or higher. Nope. So what next? Now, I made Adam aware of the strategy that Kronos have, which is when he decides to attempt a, ca a, a psychic power, I can say only use one die. And he's at minus one. So, and the Kronos thing... Uh, the Warlord trait. No, not the Warlord trait. What's the thing? Yeah, I, I just... Shadow thought, Warp, just about. Yeah, no, no, no. The Warlord trait for Kronos, which is on him, yeah. and he's within 18 inches, is that if he fails a psychic power within 18 inches right. of him, he takes D3 mortal wounds. So which psychic power would you like to attempt? So the question becomes, do I just make you burn a command point? Right. Really, that's what they... It's, and then you auto-fail it. Yeah, auto -fail and it. take auto D3 mortal wounds. D3 more wounds. So or do I, you say smite, and I'm like, ah, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, that's because uh, you want to do warp time, right? I do want to do warp time, which needs a six. So in your case, it needs a seven. But if I make you do it on one die, obviously you fail that automatically. So I think I'm close enough to make this charge with the Lord of Scordon, and I'm not going to. Oh, he yeah, he didn't advance. He did not. He did not advance. So warp time will let you move again and yeah. basically auto get exactly. the charge. So this this is a little riskier charge. We have command points to reroll too. Yeah. So. So I think we're not going to command. 
to do that. Uh, Are you gonna do any power whatsoever? I'm not gonna do any power whatsoever. <laughs> You're just like, it's like I'm afraid. Screw it. I do not want my demon princess to die. No. Okay, so I will not do that then. Shooting phase. You want to kill some spores. So. Cultist and Demuclid. So seven pistols are in range. Hitting on force. Hitting on force. Mm. Four hit. Mm. And then this force. is wounding on force. Force to wound. No, oh, you did two. two. You don't kill it because it has three wounds. It has a six up save. I'm using your dice. Oh! Oh! They, oh. You got grenades on here. He looks like, a, uh, you want to do a frag and do multiple shots or crack and do multiple damage? He's got two wounds left. We're going to do a frag. That probably makes yeah, sense. D6 six shots. Six. Three, it's mm -hmm. enough, it's enough. Threes, threes to hit. Okay, it's enough, and it's threes, enough. Four fours, again. fours to wound, you need two. Oh, oh, you got two! Six up save! Six up save! Oh, oh. double six! Your dice are awesome! They, they betray me! Oh no! Hey, no, you won't be able to kill it. That's okay, it'll just blow up and I'll roll a one and it won't do anything. Or I'll roll a six and do D6 more wounds and kill everything. Yeah. Somewhat, so, something in between those two. So then we got another cultist with auto guns trying to take out this spore. Ten shots on fours. Now this will re-roll ones because they're within um, six inches of the demon prince. Oh, so they get that? Yeah. That's not, so it's not just the one oh, mark? No, because it's going to be legion. And, ooh, I might have to look up that. That's in let's the, let's double check it before. Yeah. The demon prince gives it to friendly the legion, and they do have the legion keyword, even though they don't get the legion ability. Yeah. So they still get re-roll ones. Fours to hit. Re-roll that one one. Oh, look at that. They're going to one-shot it. They're going to make up for their brethren. Fours, fours to wound. Um, I may have there's spoken. Four? There's th there's four. Like, okay, you know what? I just Statistically, got, you should be fine, right? I need two sixes. One. Oh. You got him. Unfortunate does not give you first strike or no prisoners because they don't count towards anything. Can you do that one more time yeah. into the other mucolid? Only nine shots here. Still within six inches of that demon prince, so re-rolling ones. Four is to hit. Mm, mm -hmm. mm -mm. Uh -oh. mm -mm. Only three, four hits. No, three hits. Three hits. Probably not. Four is to wound. Oh, only two wounds. Can I save either of those? Six up saves. No. Do you have anything that has ranged? Take off that last wound? Uh, I, well, the only shooting I have left is a plasma pistol there and a bale flamer. And how long does range is the bale oh, flamer? Not, the, not that you'd want to use the flamer on that mucolid necessarily. 18. Got 18 inch range, so it can bale flame the crap out of so many things. Does it want to use it to finish off that last wound in the mucolid? Or do you want to just pile it on something else? Well, you know what? I, I don't think we're going to waste it on that. I think we want to kill some warriors with the Bale Flamer. Okay. Hit. So you're going to fire at the Bale, the warriors? We're going to kill the Bale Flamer at those. So D6 auto hits. Is this a flame? Ooh, six. look there at we that! Go. Strength 6, toughness 4, so 3's to wound. And these are 2 damage apiece. These are minus 2 AP apiece, too. So this is enough to kill 2 of them if I don't make a 6 up save. Which I do. So this does 2 damage, finishes off the 1, and then 2 damage to the next. So kills 1 and injures another one down to one wound. So you're gonna shoot the plasma pistol yep. at what? Front or back? At the back. Back. Want an overcharge? I do not want to overcharge. Oh, come on, man. Hitting on twos, re-rolling ones, because we need to re-roll the one. There we are. And we twos to wound. Twos, yeah. No save. One okay. dies. Uh, you, I back guess. Back one, back one, back one. Oh, you shot at this yeah. unit. That's right, okay. You. Much more important. Yeah. Epic charge phase. So. Where do you want to start? Start off, use one command point to allow um, that Mauler Fiend to charge after it advanced. What is it going to declare a charge against? It's going to charge a it's going to declare a charge just against this front unit. Just of, the front. Okay, so they will overwatch, obviously. I hit on sixes, three rolling ones. Ooh, five hits. Oh boy. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, are you toughness eight? Toughness seven. Okay, so fives to wound. No rerolls. Hey, I got a wound. Can you take it? Oh, Hurry up. you're over there. You need a four inch charge. Ken, you do it. Yeah, you yes. did it just fine. Bring it in, bro. Just big bro in. hug between the Termagants and the right Mauler Fiend. There, see, so hopefully we can leave a little channel for Narek to get in there. Lord Discordant declaring a charge against the Termagants. You need seven inches. Oh. Three. You're going to use. Oh, we are not point. using a command point there. No, because you no. have to reroll that one to yeah. a five. Corn Berserkers, are these only declaring a charge only against the Termagants? Yeah. Okay, that's important because they can fight twice and they could get to the next one, but he doesn't want to take a crap ton of Overwatch. They need a 7 as well. Oh no! You can use a command point there, hope for a 5 plus. That Yeah, you, we're gonna, we have to. You gotta do it, you gotta we do have it. To. This is the one. Oh, four. Four. oh. What about these two? They, they are definitely going into the... Going oh, well, I will Overwatch. All right, Termagants, sixes to hit. Didn't move. 
Ready? Four is to wound. One wound. Three up save! Oh! oh. <laughs> we'll leave the champion. Yeah, of course. Then do your charge. Charge is six. So he's gonna try. You can stay more than three inches away three from inches that mutilid. If you just charge right here, yeah. and more stay just the inch, inch away, yeah. like at that inch, you'll start more than three inches. Because it's at the end of the charge phase, so yeah. if you pile into it, it won't blow up. Yeah. In my end of my charge phase, it'll then It'll blow, blow up, yeah. And then on a two and plus, he'll be dead. Yeah. Chaos Lord wants a charge. Maybe he'll do it. No. Nope. <laughs> Karn's gonna have a, a thing to say to you after this battle. So combat phase, you got your two chargers. Who would you like to go with first? Remember, oh, I can interrupt. Uh, I'm, not, we'll I, go with that. You know, I'm, 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 I'm not going to. Uh, we'll start with the Fiend. So four attacks with his fist. So Lord of Scorning gives him plus one hit rolls. Plus one to hit rolls, so it's uh, on a three. And yep. of course, I missed one. I'm assuming they're at least strength six. Strength 12. Well, then they're twos to wound. Yeah. <laughs> strength 12 is quadruple my toughness. And there's probably an uh, AP to this, AP right? AP minus three. So three of them die. Yeah. And then six last year tendril attacks, also threes, threes to hit. Yep. Any rerolls on them? Nope. And strength? Strength is user, so six. So twos to wound again. It's twos. So four more. Any uh, AP? Uh, AP two. Yeah, so there's four more dead. So seven yeah. dead in total. Well, I'll kill ones in the back, because I want to keep you up there, obviously. So that's five, six, seven. I am not going to spend two command points and interrupt. So you can pile in. This thing can't explode until yeah. my. So he. Although, 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 I don't want to bait you in because, nah, because, because he, if he's not within three. Well, he'll just pull from the front anyways, and then. Well, that's right. Oh, you know what? He has to be within three at the end of the charge phase. Yeah, he doesn't actually have to there. charge you. No. I keep thinking Age of Sigmar, where that means he has to have charge. No, he can just float within three and then blow up. Okay, so we pile in and do your bajillion attack. So. Three attacks, base, plus one because he's a world leader charging. Nice. And one of those is going to be a chain axe, and now I get five. Okay, is the chain axe any better? Or, sorry, the chain sword. Chain axe is better, so three chain axe attacks, plus one strength, and minus one AP. And the other one does not have any AP? No AP and no Oh, okay, strength. so this one ignores their six up yeah. save then. So hitting on threes? Hitting on threes. No rerolls? No rerolls. Strength, strength six. So two's to wound. And these ones don't have an AP? That's the AP. Okay, so, so two good. die, yep. and then the other two attacks. Hitting on threes. threes and. Uh, that misses. Yeah, doesn't matter what that was. So two died. My turn. No, I had to attack again with him. He's a berserker. Oh, that's right, and he charged. May he do better than his first swing. So we're going to split them two and two this time because he doesn't get the plus one due to the most recent FAQ. Oh, that's right, that's right. So first two one. chain axe attacks, threes and twos. So two so more two die. die. That's an AP one, or AP minus one. Threes and threes. And no, those a, are no, no AP, AP on those. So six up save. So that's four dead. Well, that's better. So six die in total. And then I'll do these guys next, because you're done, all your yeah. guys. So I'll pile in all four will attack. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fives. Oh boy, he could die. Three up save. You could do it, man. You could do it. Oh, okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. Yeah, we forgot the minus one to hit, but yeah, I don't care. I also forgot that the one guy you killed had a five up to ignore wounds. And I don't care. So these four will attack. Watch out, big guy. Fours to hit. Sixes to wound, nothing. What a surprise. Now into morale, you lost one guy here. Yeah. Your leadership seven, so you're fine. Leadership eight, but yeah. No, seven. Oh yes, yeah, so we're gonna remember that yeah, thing. I remember that one. We remember that one. Yeah. Uh, but you're fine, you had to lose two and that would be everybody. I lost lots of guys from both Termagant squads, but they're all within 12 inches of Synapse creatures, which lets them auto pass morale tests. So um, that's your turn. Mm -hmm. So you didn't kill anything. So you don't get no prisoners, nor do you get first strike. And you didn't get Rise to Glory, obviously, because you didn't kill any. Well, you didn't kill anything. Did you want to dump any of these? We're gonna dump Rise to Glory. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't dump no prisoners. That, that's surely, surely. I might kill a unit. Surely, you'll kill something next turn. I'm gonna draw three more objectives. Assassinate, kill a character. Secure objective three. Yes, this is, I, I forgot to check if they if it started with one, because there's tier and special ones. And Witch Hunter, kill Psyker. Ooh, so that would be your Demon Princess. I'm gonna keep all three of those. I, the killing of Psyker isn't likely, but I could kill a character, because he has more than, he has 10 or more wounds. And secure objective three, well that's right here. So I can't, uh, I plan on trying to kill the Lord Discordant, so it would be a shame not to. And he's the Warlord too, so that would be a Warlord kill. Yeah. Seems like a good idea. 
Beginning of my movement phase, he can spawn Termagants on a unit that's within six inches. Only flush bore Termagants, so as much as I'd like to respawn here, uh, they're too far away. So I have to place this one Termagant that you killed, that's why I wasn't too worried about forgetting the catalyst. Wholly within six inches of him and in coherency. Miklid Spore is going to advance six, so it's gonna go nine inches. He's actually gonna float right, whoop, 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 get off of him, Termagant. He's gonna float right here, so he's within three of the Mauler Fiend and the Lord Discordant. So I have a couple options of where I'd like to blow up. Let's fly this one too. Oh, nine inches, huh. Float. Bump, bump, bump. That's how slow they go. They're so ridiculously slow. So I put them equidistant between these two as well, so I can choose. And then we're gonna skitter around a little bit, but there won't be much movement. Everybody has moved that wants to. So we fell back for both combats, just providing new walls. The mucolid, you already saw the mucolid spores. Pretty much everybody stood still. The, the zone throw repositioned so that once he's dead, we could have the nearest visible be the Mauler Fiend for the next smite. And I move these zone throws over as well. But everybody else stood still, so they're gonna be able to reroll ones to hit. Oh, the Turbagon, I think I'm gonna move the Turbagon. Just to get within six inches of the next one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go like that. And somehow one guy survives. I get to bring them all back. Oh. I'll We're going to do a smite from this Neurothrope to try to kill that Berserker. I need a five. I get it. You can. You have one deny on him. One deny. So you can try to stop that if you'd like. Would you like to try to we, stop we that? We're going to try to stop that. Need a six or higher. Six or higher. You got yeah. it. So then this Turbogon will try to smite him instead. And he gets it. You got the other Demon Prince's deny. It's six because they're just six now. So we will try with the other Demon Prince. So this to warn you, I've got some very, very heavy smites coming your way. So just, but at the same, yeah. You know what, we're gonna let that one go through. And kill okay, so kill, because because I also have Psychic yeah, Scream on them. One, yeah. So the Psychic Scream could really, I could kill with that too. So we're gonna choose his zone throw up in the back because then the nearest visible will be the Mauler Fiend for smite. Now I need a seven. Hmm. Hmm, let's reroll that too. No, no. Rerolls are sucking this game. Smite a Rooney again on the Mauler Fiend. Now I need an eight. Reroll the one. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. It's Bad happening. psychic phase. It's happening. It's happening. I'm gonna put Catalyst on them again. Yep. You can try to stop that I'm if you like. That one, no. I will try to throw the horror on your Mauler Fiend in case he survives. I made it. Try to deny. Oh that. wait. Reroll the one. Reroll yep. the one. That's an 11. Now I will not try to Yeah, okay. Oh no, he's the Horde. And lastly, Psychic Scream onto him just to do some extra mortal ones. I reroll a one. Okay, it's a seven. That's really it. Uh, my Onslaught is not needed. That's eight. eight. You stopped it. Shooting phase. My Exocrine is going to fire everything at this Muller Fiend. I think that's the right choice. Really, they don't know until you roll the dice. I'm going to use the two command point stratagem called Pathogenetics or Pathogenetic. Genic, whatever, slime. It's just good plus one damage to a monster. So we'll shooting attack. So these are gonna be three damage instead of two. Hitting on threes, because I didn't move. Double shooting, because I didn't move. Ooh, look at all those twos. I get to reroll ones, though. Okay, I'm glad now that I took the three damage one, because now I'm concerned. Wounding on threes. What's the toughness? Toughness seven? Strength seven, toughness seven. So we need fours to wound. Oh, okay. Eight wounds. Okay, five up in bones. All fives. You can kind of make a load of these. Oh, no, no, I got look better than. Oh, but you know what though? That mattered. That was twelve wounds, and that's exactly how many yeah. he has. Does he blow up? So hold on, I might actually uh, auto blow him up. No, I might actually try to reroll this and see if I can save him and make a fire. Oh, so else. you want to reroll one thing? Yeah. Okay. Use a let's, command point to reroll one five up save. No, oh, you got it. He's alive with three points. Okay. I get it. That was a smart move. You're down to three. You rolled really well with your five ups, but I rolled really well with my damage, so I can't complain. Well, let's let's do some little plinking attacks first, right? Let's do a stinger salvo into him. We've got fours to hit. He did move, so no re-rolls. Uh, fives to wound. Oh! <laughs> okay! AP? Yeah, no, uh, yeah, minus one. Minus one, so four ups. So four ups. You fail all three of these, he dies. Okay, oh, just one. one. He's down to two. We're gonna do this, man, with a little small arm spire. So we got a couple useless death spitters. Maybe not so useless, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, because I stood still. Ho oh, ho your strength five minus one as well. Fives to wound, nothing! There we go. Nothing! We got three more of them. Oh, fours to hit, oh, it's not, well, it's all right. Yeah, you know what, it's above average. Fives to wound, I need a couple of them. I don't really need more than a couple. That's two, they're minus one, so four ups again. 
Oh, your dice are doing too well. We're gonna move on to another target first before we decide what we're gonna do. We're gonna do my Tyran effects. He's gonna fire his rupture cannon. He's gonna double tap it into your Lord Discordant. And I can target him because he's a character with 10 or more wounds. Wooey mama. Four is to hit. Uh, average. Average is okay, right? Strength 10, three's to wound. Ah! Oh, dang, Nabbit. Only one. One four up. Four up in bone. Yeah, you're good. Wow, that was a waste. My big unit termagants. Everybody that can, uh, everybody that can, that are in range and can see these corn berserkers will fire there. So it's going to be like all of these, and everybody else is going to fire at the Mauler fiend. So we got two groups. This group right here. So I just put a little line down the middle there. They're all going to fire at the Mauler fiend. So let's start with them. Fours, re-rolling ones. Oh, there's only a couple ones. There are a few ones, but that's a good hit. That's a very good hit. Fives to wound. Great. Oh, that was good too. It looks like re-rolling ones, because there's at least 20. 10 three-up saves. You don't get any more re-rolls, by the way. You gotta go with what your dice say. You just need to fail two of these. Thank you! you oh, that's a lot, actually. Yeah. Does he blow up? Six. No. Well, you did distract some of my other shootings, so that worked. And then the rest of them will fire into those berserkers. So 42 shots into the corn berserkers, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. Pretty sure that was above average, and there's another one. Four is the wound! Rerolling, well, yeah, that was, there, that makes up for the really good roll, but I still get to reroll all these ones. Ooh, only one more. So 11 wounds in total, which is about average, after everything was said and done. Three up, Three up saves. Oh boy, four die. Yep. I think that's actually all, all around, that's three, about what four. you would expect. Leaving, uh, oh, I gotta make sure I leave the Don't champion. Don't kill your champion, man. Yep. One, two, three, and four. This trend effects here at the Acid Spray and Stinger Salvo, 18 inch range. We're both, they're both gonna go double tapping into the Lord Discordant. Start the Acid Spray, normally it's 2d6 shots, but I get to fire it twice, so it's 4d6 auto hits. Eh, that's definitely below average. Heck, that's almost average for three dice. So we've got uh, 8, 11, 12 shots. Strength 7, minus 1, d3 damage. So 3's to wound. No rerolls. So 9 wounds with a 3 up save because it's minus 1. This could kill you. Ooh. Four get through. How many ones does he have in total? Twelve. So if I roll perfectly on my D3s, he's dead. Four D3 Sorry. wounds. Four Dancing Matthews. Or five pluses. So that's six, seven, eight. Oof, that does hurt though. So he's down to four so far, and then we're going to toss the Stinger Salvo at him, see what happens. Eight shots there, because I'm double firing it, hitting on fours. Rerolling ones, but there's no ones there. Wounding on fives, no rerolls. Oh, it's one more, just one more. Minus one, so three up save. One damage. You're good. Tran effects, flesh bore hive, a stinger salvo into these guys. Uh, you want to just remove them? Let's I'm not going to tell you to. Let's just. Do I that. have 40 strength five shots, hitting on fours, rerolling ones. Yeah. So that's 20 hits. That becomes 15 wounds, no save. Yeah. They're so gone. and then I got the eight stinger salvo shots. So they could survive. They could. Yeah. No. End of the shooting phase. I will spend two command points. On the stratagem called Single Minded Annihilation, which allows me to choose a Tyranid infantry unit and shoot with it again. I will choose this big old blob, and all 20 of these devourers are going to light up your Lord Discordant again. 60 shots coming your way. We'll do these 30 at a time. So the first 30 hitting on fours, re rolling ones. So fours. Oh, oh, oh. drop dice never count. Fives to wound. Re rolling ones, because there's at least 20 of them. Only five get through, you get two up saves. Oh! One gets through, that's all I need, but we're not even done yet. Down to three. And the other 30 shots, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. Man, these dice are on fire. That is above average again. But my re-rolls can't seem to do it. But can I get lots of fives? Hmm, I only see two, three, four. Can we get one more? Uh, just four. Give me one more one there, Adam. I need two up. No, there you're go. fine, you're fine. That's the end of my shooting phase, so we're gonna go to my charge phase. End of charge phase! It's within three inches, so it gets to blow up. So on a two plus, it'll do D3 mortal wounds. On a six, it does D6. I'm gonna use a command point to reroll that. I was hoping to use the command point to reroll the damage, because now it does D3 mortal wounds. Oh, two! It's down to one. Boom, baby! And it's nearest enemy unit, not nearest unit. And this one's gonna blow up onto the two corn berserker, or the three corn berserkers. No rerolls anymore. I get it. So D3 mortal wounds. Two. That so two of them just die. There's still one left though. Nope, oh no, he's his champion. champion. Okay. But I didn't kill a character. That's the important part here. 
So I managed to secure objective three, but I did not get Witch Hunter, nor did I assassinate a character. I am probably going to keep both of those, though, because surely I can kill a Psyker next turn, because your Demon Princes will be nice and close, right? They will be. Yeah, I'm going to keep both of these. Keep both of those. So I'll get one more point. I only got, I'm only up to three points, but we're very close to killing your Warlord. He's only got one wound left, so it, he gets... He, he re regen back up to two. He, did, he gets he, a wound back? He's infernal. So there's at least that, right? But his movement, his stats are probably... His does stats he, does he get bracketed? He does get bracketed. Uh, so he's probably... So yeah, he's going to be slower. He loses some movement, and he loses some additional attacks from the... Health from the actual there. mount. Usually it's just the mounts that get reduced, right? But managed to kill the Mauler Fiend. Pretty much almost killed the Lord of Scordon. If you just hit something! Man! Six shots doesn't do a single wound. But then, you know, annihilated the other unit of Corn Berserkers. Both units actually were finished off. Um, your two characters are fine. And I think that's all the damage I did, but it did kind of push you back. Yeah. I forgot to bring in my Lictor and Ripper Swarms. You know, in hindsight, that's probably not the worst thing in the world. But looking back here, knowing his Obliterators can come in this turn, I probably would have wanted to drop the Ripper Swarms here just to keep him far away from trying to charge my guys. I know he can get there and shoot them no matter what. But stopping the charge is nice. And maybe drop like the Lictor over here as well. Keep him out of my back lines. So that's a mistake I made, but I didn't realize it until the end of the Psychic Phase. and. I didn't want to take it, because it might actually work out to my favor later in the game, because this objective gets exposed, or who knows what, who knows what. It's not the end of the world. And I'm doing pretty well here. I've already killed all the Corn Berserkers, both Rhinos and a Mauler Fiend, and pretty much the entire Lord Discordant. Uh, so we've I've definitely advanced a lot of the charge, and there's, I still have tons of guys. So, score is 3 nothing at the end of Tyranid's turn 2. Still have no prisoners yeah. to draw two more. Big game hunter. Oh, That's yeah. good. Behind enemy lines. You should be able to do that because you can drop in your obliterators. So big game hunters kill anything with ten or more wounds, which is all my big monsters. Yeah. And then behind enemy lines, get something in my deployment zone. If you get three somethings in my deployment zone, you get D3 victory points instead. Huh. So in your movement phase, you get a wound back on the Lord Discordant, so he's up to two wounds now. Still only a six inch move. Yeah. Oh. Mauler Fiend advancing. So he's going to go 15 inches because he gets the plus two from, right yeah, right up here. He's there. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Lord Discord is down a six inch move, but he gets plus two for being so a warlord. Really just going to get in there too. So he's going to move four far. inches. Yeah. So we're going to advance the Demon Prince for four inches. So he's so going to go 16. 16. And to fly to the side, being ready to support the obliterators support who are about to teleport in. Right there. Champions. Try to get gonna, some no prisoners. Yeah, you can you, surely you can kill a few termagants, right? Yep. And no then problem. this guy will move within just so he's outside an inch. And just so he's outside an inch. Bring it. We'll just move cultists around to get on those two objectives. And thereafter. Ooh. Advance your close combat cultists. Three. Three inches, so they're gonna go this way to see if they in the end can hold. Yeah. Come a little more useful, right? Yep. End of movement phase. Obliterators arrive. So basically, they gotta be here. Yeah, you're Water fine. And six. Trying to stay within six inches so. and see monsters, which, honestly, you've got lots of targets. Target rich monster Whoa. environment. All four of them can drop in here. So you're giving up going for behind enemy lines because you want the reroll ones because you want to do lots of damage. Yeah. Psychic phase. Psychic phase. Demon princes. So we were fate. So he wants to give the plus one involve. I I have the one stratagem where I can make you only roll one die, but. You got two wounds left in that guy. Surely that won't be hard for me to kill. You would think. You, th you would think. So go ahead. Just go ahead and do it. You're still minus one, though. So sevens are needed. That's seven. And I'll try to stop it. So you actually only got a six, yeah. which is what you needed. So I need to roll higher than a six. And I do. So I denied it. Okay. We're going to warp time the Demon Prince onto himself. So that he can move again? So he can move again. Okay. I will use the command point. What does he need for warp time? Uh, six natu six normally. So you need a seven. So, seven, so, so basically I'm going to make it auto fail yeah. by saying you can only use one die. Yeah. But you spend the And he's not within 18 inches of my warlord, so he doesn't take any mortal wounds. But he does auto fail it. He can't perils or anything with a single die. Um, it does bring me down to seven command points. And you're down to ten at this point. Sorry, yeah, you're down to nine command points at this point. So that, four. Yeah, Cult is going to try to clear out these. So fours. You don't kill them all, I'm bringing them all back. <laughs> fours. No rerolls. Yeah, the Demon Prince isn't close enough. Yeah. Fours the wound. 
Um, not bad. I got five wounds. Six up saves. Ooh, three die. There's one alive! I'm gonna keep the one that's within six inches of the Turbagon, because then I can bring all ten back if you don't kill him. Narek is gonna be the champion that we need, not the one that we deserve, and fires plasma pistol. Surely he can do it. Two's to hit, two's to wound. Oh! <laughs> we know he's gonna die, but it's just funny that he did not yet. Oh, man. <laughs> You can use a baleful flame around him. Uh, we're not doing that. Okay, well you got some auto guns back yeah, here. Yeah, we should probably have range for 24 inch. Surely they can do it. Ten shots. Fours and fours. Okay, only two hit. <laughs> oh no. Force to wound. Oh no, they're alive! What you can't kill four termagants. Six pistols into these termagants. Fours. Fours, mm -hmm. that's not very good. Mm -hmm. Fours. Mm -hmm. One there. Mm -hmm. Six up. Oh, you killed one. I can throw a frag grenade rather than a pistol. Let's... Yeah, let's throw a frag yeah. grenade. I was gonna say frag grenade is better than so a bolt pistol. Yeah, oh, see, there we, we are. There. Yeah, yeah, that was the right. I feel vindicated. Yeah, thank you. Need to do that. Four, the threes to hit. Yeah. Four is to wound. Well, you know, yeah. normally it does better. Six up. You killed one. Well, that's no more than you could have killed with the pistol. Baleful flamers. I'm gonna try to keep working on these warriors. D six auto hits. Ooh, six again. You know, at least you're doing well with those. Yeah. Drink six. So threes to wound. Yeah, they're gonna die. I got a six up save against this. It's almost three, these get through, yeah, they're dead. Yeah, so, yeah no prisoners, woo! Kill somebody! Yeah. Now to the stuff that really matters. Obliterators, what is your first target? So I think the first target with the far unit is going to do, go into the x grand. x grand. One thing on the obliterators, you actually get to roll your uh, profile first before picking your target. So okay. I'll actually roll that first, then determine, and determine who's yeah. going to go fire. So strength 6 plus D3. So uh, plus strength one. 7. Uh, AP. AP 1. one. Damage. 1. one. <laughs> oh, wow, then. Well, they only can see the x so that's their target. So that's, we're just... Well, hitting on. 3's, re-rolling once. So the Demon Prince is nearby. Re-roll that one. Is that a 1 on your hand? That's there we 5's to wound, strength 7, toughness 8. Oh, that's so sad. I uh, got three. Th four. four yeah. Minus one AP, so my three up becomes a four up. And I kill half of them. Brings them down to ten. Other squad, six plus, oh, three strength nine. nine. AP one. minus one. And damage. Oh, you're thinking of rerolling it? One. Damage one. Ah, good strength, but nothing else is good. You thinking of rerolling that damage? I think we're rerolling the damage. Yeah, it's AP it's... minus one, but uh, let's reroll this one. For two. two. Twelve shots. No stratagems being used here. Threes to hit. We're rolling, rolling one, ones. so good hit so far. Only one, two, so two misses. Yeah. Now we need on threes. Yeah. Strength nine, toughness eight. One. No rerolls, so you missed four of those. Yeah. This is enough to kill him. You need to get five of these through, though. I got a four up save. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh. goodness, I made it. He's bracketed, but in the, I can start to heal him, like D3 wounds at a time. But yeah, he's pretty bracketed. So then you want to use the stratagem Endless Cacophony, which is at the end of the shooting phase, an infantry unit can fire again, or a biker unit, and so you're going to have them fire again. I'm going to have them fire again. Strength? Six plus D3, so strength Ooh, nine again. AP D2. two, and damage. Oh, one. Oh. That's okay, he's only got two wounds left. Yeah, I was thinking about going against uh, the, the next one. Scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah you might as well just finish him off at this. Yeah. Sorry, what was the AP again? One. Oh, okay. No, sorry, the AP was two, the damage is one. Yes, yeah. so threes to hit, re-rolling ones. No ones, but just two twos. Threes to wound. Oh. Yeah, he's probably dead. Because I had to make all these four ups. No, no, I have to make. You have to make. I yeah. two. Yeah, there's four. He's yeah. dead. Does he lash out at everybody nearby? No. You got your big game hunter. The X is gone. Charge phase. Where do you want to start? Uh, the Mauler Fiend is going to go into the zone ropes and into the Gaunts. So he's declaring a charge into both? Yeah. So Overwatch from all of the Gaunts. 65 overwatch shots. This is awesome. Hitting on sixes. Rerolling ones. Thanks to the turbogun nearby. So we got five hits so far. Five. The other 30 shots. We've got five more hits so far. Oh goodness, that was really miscounted. Seven more, so we're at 12. 12 so far. And we got five more shots. 12. 12. All oh, this dice rolling for nothing. Fives to wound. Ready? Booyah. Yeah, hey, actually, it was pretty good. Wow. Reroll ones. So we got five wounds in there. Three up saves? Three up saves. Well, if I get one or two, I'll be happy. Uh, I got two. two. All right. Down to ten wounds. Now, this guy advanced. So I have to spend a stratagem. So a command point yep. 
to allow him to, to, allow him to charge. We should have mentioned that. Five, four. Yeah, so you're down to six command points. Yep. All right, charge. Hey, he's in. I'm gonna charge. Hey, your Mauler fiends have never failed a charge. Don't mock the Maulers. Lord Discord declaring charge into the Gaunts. Does he want to declare charge in anything else? In the zone, the ropes smart as well. Yeah, because they can't overwatch. Yeah. Do you want to watch. declare that one too? Yeah. Oh no, but then I get overwatch. Six. No, okay. So you need a minimum five inch charge, but you really want seven to get to the big squad. Well, four is neither of those. Did you like to reroll one of those dice? I will reroll this dice. Okay. Reroll. Dude! Oh! Dude! <laughs> you made your charge! You only get one charge! Narek? Yeah. What's he declaring a charge against? Just into this one guy right just, there. Just move him in then. Boop! You get your watch again. Oh yeah! Because <laughs> I feel the Oh, reroll the one! No! Yeah, because he was nearby. Yeah. So then he'll charge both of these. Both gaunt squads? Yeah. Say, charge it. Charge it! There Last we are. End. Eight. That's what. See? Was that so hard, Lord Discordant? Uh, theoretically. So he's going to be in there. All right, I'll overwatch. He's one of your dice. Whoa. Nope. No. 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 No, nope. no they didn't. That's right, they didn't move. So we did get a hit. And a wound. You're fine, because you have more than one. Three up. But I take a wound. You take a wound. Obliterators might as well go for a charge against the zone throws. You know, it's a nine inch. Nine inch. Oh! oh look at that! Wow. So that gets yeah, them just... in. So we're into the combat phase now. The Demon Prince is going to go first, doing his attacks into all these termagants. Seven attacks, twos to hit, rerolling ones. So six so far. Oh, of only six. And then twos to wound, no rerolls. But also no saves. So six die. Obviously, killing the flesh borer ones, because they get to come back. Narek, surely he can kill one termagant. Four attacks, twos. Reroll ones. Whoa! <laughs> Dude. Those dice are either awesome or they're yeah. awful. They don't seem to do in between. Uh, so strength five, so three. Three to wound. He's, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Hey. Do you want to consolidate? Nearest would be. Okay. Yes. Yeah, won't be able to get to them, but he can move closer. He's also champion into those little termagants. Poor, poor termagants. So threes. Yeah. All of them hit, and then what's uh, strength? Four plus two, so six. So two's to wound. Rerolling the one. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you just need done. a two. Would you like to consolidate three inches? Forward? He will stay there. Okay. So Mauler Fiend into the zone throws. And we're gonna spend a command point on Demon Forge. Which does what? Allows him to reroll all failed hits and wounds. Nice. So start with his three damage fists. Yep, so he's hitting on fours. Just uh, fours? Just fours normally. So you get normally we get plus one from Lord Discord and if they Oh, six, that's because he's not there. So that's why we Demon Forge is a better trait. So four is rerolling. Reroll those two. Okay, and then two. Strength twelves of twos and rerolling any ones. So these are three damage apiece, but I have a three up involved. Yeah. I have four guys, and they each have three wounds. Just roll four ones for me. So every failed three plus is a dead zone throw. One. Nope. I need these guys alive. Yeah. Reroll. Oh, I feel kind of dirty. Oh, I need to go take a shower. Sorry, man. Lash your tendrils, so hitting on. Attacks, so hitting on four is rerolling because of Demon Forge. Uh, four, four hits. Are what are the strength of these? Strength six. So threes to wound. Yeah. Rerolling. Rerolling that one. Damage. So these are two damage apiece, three up in bones. So two damage, so one's yep. down to one. So I'm just, I'll, it'll be this one right here. So as that stops him from engaging that. That's why I wanted to keep him alive, because I didn't want him to engage the train effects yet. So two obliterators, so this guy's down to one wound. Yep. We'll attack. So threes to hit, no rerolls here. Hmm. Threes to wound. So two, Ooh, two wounds, wounds, three up in bone. These are D3 damage apiece. Oh, I hate three up in bones, they're too good. Shh. Which is so funny. down to one. So you fail. You, you fell for one of the great blunders. Never bring big weapons to kill three up invulns. Just shoot them with auto guns. Yeah. Oh man, that was a tar pit and a half. That's all your guys. That is it. Right? You don't have any stratagem to fight again. I do, but I'm not going to use it. It's not probably worth it anymore. Because I don't, at most I'm killing maybe seven. Okay, well uh, then I will start to strike you back. I'll start with the Termagon, so I'm going to pile them in. I'm actually going to try to do some damage to your... Chaos Lord, before I fall back. Although I guess if I just put everything on, yeah, I'm not killing the Demon Prince. Yeah. Well, who am I kidding? I'm, not, I'm like, if I kill the Demon Prince, I'm still engaged with him too, so we're just coming on in. Oh yeah. Okay, as many as can fight him will, and then then as many as can fight the Demon Prince will, and then whatever's left over that can fight the Mauler Fiend. So six attacks on your Chaos Lord, hitting on fours. I only reroll ones from the Turbogon in the shooting phase. Wounding him on fives, strength three. Oh, two wounds. Three up saves. 
Oh. Okay. Brings him down to three wounds, right? Yep. Six into the demon prince, hitting on fours. Wounded on fives? What's his toughness? Six. So sixes. Nada. And three into your Mauler Fiend. Hitting on fours, wounding on sixes. Nothing. And I got the Zoanthropes too. This is awesome. I, I don't even want to roll these, but I'll do it. Fours. Oh yeah. Sixes. Hey, look at that. Mauler Fiend. Three up. Ah, oh, this one. That That's what I thought. Into the morale phase. You, you've killed the units that you killed. And then this one is, they're all immune to morale. Let's just put it that way. And I didn't kill anything of yours that would cause morale. So that's the end of the turn. So you got no prisoners. You got between three and five, so it's worth D3. Why don't you toss that for us right now? Three? Hey, that right, right alone ties the game. Big Game Hunter is worth another one yep. and did not get behind enemy lines, unfortunately. So that's four points, though, bringing the score to four to three at the end of turn two. So I still have Assassinate, Kill Characters, Witch Hunter, Kill Psychers. Both are which are very likely this turn. And Big Game Hunter kills on the ten or more wounds. All right, so kill your Muller Fiend, kill a Demon Prince, and kill a Demon Prince and a couple other characters, and I get D3. So I'll keep all three of those. So this is pretty straightforward for me. I'm going to remember to bring in my Lictor and Ripper Swarms this time. Do I need to? Actually, oh, it's oh, turn three. It's turn three, so I have to. So, uh, oh, actually, beginning of movement phase, I spawn those six back. There they are. And then we will fall back. It just gets rid of all those Devourer shots. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot less shots. Yeah. So you tied them up. Oh, and I forgot about my five up ignoring wounds again. You know what? You brought them all back anyway. I'm not going to put Catalyst on them anymore. Because <laughs> I forget oh, about it. You might as well put the Catalyst on the Zonthropes. Yeah, put something on yeah. that matters. Speaking of Zonthropes and Neurothrope, we're going to... We're going to... I'm going to, I'm going to put the neuro, Neurothrope so he's equidistant between yeah, these two, so I have a yeah. choice. The Zonthropes will fall back. And they can fly, so I can get it more than an inch away over here. So I got a few choices for what they're closest to. Let's advance the narrow throat five. Okay, he's just using that to come right here. Advance the zone throat six. Okay, so we're just gonna do that so we can kind of spread them out so I have a choice of what I'm going to smite later on. Like that. Second phase, smite number one. Need a five. Got it. Uh, you've got two denies. I no, I only got one in range for this. Yeah, I'll do that. So D3 mortal wounds, and he takes one. Then I'm gonna do psychic scream on him. And I pass. Did you want? Oh, reroll the one. Oh, well, it was yeah, dangerous that I rerolled yeah. that. It says D3 more. Oh, frick! You know what? I am going to. No, he's just a little guy. Surely he won't cause that many problems, right? He's down to one more, one wound. This zone throw up in this group will cast Smite, which will hit this. You cast Lord. Now I need a six. Yep. Oh, five! Screw it. I'm rerolling that too. Th six. six. You try to deny that? We're gonna try to deny that. Need a seven. Nope. No. So two D3 mortal wounds. He's dead. That's yeah. three mortal wounds. That's how many he had left. So not a warlord kill, but it's a character kill. We're gonna smite with the Turbagon to the Demon Prince. Need a seven now. I got it with an eight. So D3 mortal wounds. Three. He's down to five wounds. Smite with the narrow throat. That was five, six, seven. So he needs an eight. Yep. Reroll that one. So I get a six. I can pass. Nope. Failed. I'm gonna smite with the zone throw up at the back that'll hit the zone throw. Now I need a nine. Eight! And I don't have any rerolls. It's a good thing they added that rule. Yeah. Because like that would have been devastating. Because oh, I would have pretty much. Been just like smite, 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 smite. I get it. It's, it's nice. I like that rule. Feels like it's a kind of a balancing factor. Let's throw catalyst. Yeah. Onto the zone throws, because maybe I'll remember to do it on them. From them, right? Yes. So, yeah, so I'll try to deny. I got an eight, so you need a nine. No. He failed. And if somehow I don't kill the Mauler Fiend, let's put the horror on him. I, I shouldn't reroll that because I'll get the mortal wounds. And I get it. So he's Proc or he's the horrored. Shooting phase. Now I should point out that this nice big blob who could double shoot because of the stratagem cannot fire at all because they fell back. So that was a good good choice right there. So my goal right now, and of course this will be obvious, is to kill Obliterators, Mauler Fiend, Demon Prince, Lord Discordant. And just a little bonus would be him, too. But he's not as important. We're going to start with the Trent Effects, the Flesh Borer Hive, and Stinger Salvo, uh, putting everything into him. I will spend the Command Point, which upgrades the Flesh Borer Hive to plus one to wound. So Strength 5 against Toughness 6, we'll wound on 4s instead of 5s. 40 shots, because I did not move. Hitting on 4s, rerolling 1s, because I did not move. Yep. 
Four is to wound. Yeah. AP nothing, so you got your three up saves. You got five wounds left, and one, two, three, four failed. Still got the Stinger Salvo to finish you off. Stinger Salvo, which does not get that plus one damage bonus. Four is to hit, re-rolling ones. Eee, eee. Maybe you'll survive, actually you should. Five's to wound. Hey, one wound, four up save. One wound left. Oh, you want to use a command point to re-roll that? 50-50. Oh, it isn't worth it at this point. I got a lot of a small arms fire that can finish him off, so. Uh, you know what, let's, you, let's do, you might as well do it, right? Why not? Sure. You yeah, did it, yay! Well, let's try to finish him off. We got three warriors here. Hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Only winning on fives, though. Oh, okay. There's minus one, so you get four up saves. So you got to get triple four up saves. Oh, so close. So there goes a character and a psyker. We're going to put uh, Tyranifex everything into the Mauler Fiend. Unless, oh, no, I'm not going to be in range. He can't see these obliterators, and I'm not in range to put the Stinger Salvo into Lord Discord, and otherwise I would. So everything there. The big, awesome rupture cannon, which seems to never do anything. There's something about few shots that hit on fours. Even when you double the number of shots, two hits. This just always seems to happen. I'm not sure what it is. Give me a bunch of mediocre shots any day over a few really good ones. Threes to wound. Oh, they both get through. It's minus four, so you're going to get your five, five up invul. Five up demon save. Oh. oh. So D6 damage each, and there's ten, ten wounds left. And I haven't used a reroll yet? You have not. Okay. Hmm. Only two wounds left after that. Let's keep it. It's down to two. Then I got my Stinger Salvo. I still got some other small arms fire that yeah. could finish him off. Maybe. The word, yeah. Uh, four. Oh, or this could do it. Fives to wound. Only two wounds needed. Oh, there's four. These are minus one. So what's your base armor? Three? Yeah. So it's four of now. One, one failed. One wound left. Let's try to finish him off with the Turbogon Stinger Salvo. Very unimpressive on his end. Four is to hit, re-rolling ones. Ooh. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, this is keeping your obliterators alive, most likely. Um, well, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna take this bad boy, we're gonna put the double stinger salvo into him, and the double acid spray. Lord. Is that the best choice? Is it? I think the obliterators have more damage potential. Way more damage potential. I know I get an extra, I could, I get D3 victory points instead of one for killing three, vic three characters, but let's just face it, I don't think that's gonna matter long run. Although it is turn three. It's turn three, and, it and I already gave close. up that extra command or that extra victory point at the first turn. All I need is a couple of uh, defends where I can park some cultists. And yeah, get to me. you could actually. There's a, I could sneak this out potentially. Because I've already got witch hunter, big game hunter, and assassin. I'm getting three points right now, but if I kill one more character, it becomes two plus D three instead of three. Uh, but at the same time, if I kill obliterators, it'll make you how much yeah, I much harder. So. Oh, he's also the warlord. He is the warlord too. So okay, that answers point. the yeah. question then, because although I know I could kill him later on, he's going to get another he's, wound back. He still does have the four pinball though, because I did get Weaver off. Yeah, no, you didn't. Yes, you I didn't. Did. No, I, I denied it. Oh, I denied it. Yes, right. I, I did. I denied it, and then I stopped yes. the other one. So he's got a five up invul. This is a hard choice. I wish I could ask you, audience, which one you would do, and then actually do that one. I feel like I'd need a, a lifeline. Ask the audience. So you know what? This is my equivalent to asking the audience. Four plus, it goes for your character. Okay, we are going for your character. So we're going to do the eight stinger level shots into your Mauler Fiend first, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. Come on, let's kill this guy. Because if he doesn't die, I guess I could charge him and finish him off, right? And then we're looking at fives to wound him. Duh! Oh! Okay, he survives with one wound! 4d6 auto hits into your Lord Discordant. That's better. That's a lot. That is a 15. Strength 6, toughness 6, 4 is to wound. Ooh, that is bad. Only 4 of them get through. AP? They're minus 2, 2 damage apiece. So I get 4 up save anyways. Because, because you're 2 up save normally? Save normally. Yeah, so you fail one of these, you're dead. With no rerolls. Oh, yeah, oh, he's dead. Good. Does he blow up? Can he blow up? He can blow up. He does. Actually, he does not blow up. So. You rolled the six for nothing, man. Yeah. Oh well. All right, Warlord kill. And I got my extra character. Hopefully it's worth it for those D3 victory points. So everybody has fired. So we have my charge phase, which I might use to try to finish him off. I don't know, he's pretty useless at this point, right? Does his weapon skill drop? His weapon skill doesn't drop, his strength drops. Oh, okay. So his, his fist would now be strength eight. Well, that's still pretty good. Surely I could finish him off with mine. He doesn't have any shooting, right? No. So I could charge him without, it. these guys can't charge. But yeah, you know what? Yeah. No, because when you charge me, over, oh no, the, the obliterators are going to be able to shoot him to death. Because my overwatch is ridiculous. 4d6 auto yeah. hits. 
I'm charging. Don't think I can fail it. Yeah. And kills him? Yeah, I yeah, I hope this doesn't work against me. So this is not super awesome. I got four attacks, four is to hit, four is to wound, minus one AP. Four is to hit. Fifty. I was wondering I'm gonna be using a reroll somewhere. Yeah. I I no. Four is to wound. Reroll. Okay, you get minus one. So it's a four up. But you have you can reroll too though. Four up. Let's go! Rerolling. Command point! No, oh, he's alive! Okay, hit me back. That was a mistake. Start with your three damage attacks? Yeah, so we do the fists, four so attacks. Now, have you lost weapon skill? Or just we haven't lost weapon skill, but we have the horror on, so he's minus one on his. So he's hit on five uh, then. He's hitting on five. So no rerolls. No rerolls. Oh, one, one hit. hit. So what's his strength now? So his strength goes down to four, so it's times two, so he's strength eight. So four is to win yeah. then, toughness eight. Ooh, mm. and minus? Minus three. Six up save, otherwise three damage. All right, three damage. The Lash of Tendrils. Although I guess you can't shoot him. So that's no, something, right? but I might right? stay in combat. He regains a wound, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, right? you stay in combat and kind yeah. of lash away. Lash of Tendrils. I guess, yeah, it works both ways, but still would have rather killed you. Fives to hit now. Yeah, so two of those. And then... Uh, strength four, so this is six. Is six is to wound, because you're really down. Nothing. Nothing. I guess that locks him in combat, so you can't shoot him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it didn't it didn't do what I wanted to do. At least you're you're still horrid, you're down to a wound. You'll get one back, but that's okay. So assassinate, I got three or more characters, so it's worth D three victory points. Ma, can I spike a three like you? Two. You know what? I'll take it. Got Witch Hunter and Big Game Hunter for a total of four points, bringing the score to seven to four for me. So you still have behind enemy lines. Oh I forgot to put my Lictor and yeah. and Ripper's words down. Kinda dead. They're dead now! Claim and despoil. Score D3 if you control any objective mark that was controlled by your opponent. We'll check that in a second. Yeah. Any other one? Defend objective four. Well, you're gonna get that one, unless I can shoot you off of it before you get to it. Which I guess I could. Yeah, so that sucks. I had mentioned I was gonna bring the Lick yeah. and Ripper Swarms in, but then I forgot. So now they're dead, because if they're not in by turn four, they're dead. So I think- So you're gonna gamble and throw away two? We're gonna go for the, the big haul here. Oh, you don't want demand, de defend objective four? No, I want to get keep behind enemy lines, because I'm gonna be guaranteed that one. And score one of your points. Destroy so, Jane's turn. Yeah, so you just yeah. destroy an enemy. Yeah. So you get to double this. Yeah. If, uh, yeah, because they're just Imperium ones. So you're going to get yeah. two victory points if you kill one thing. thing. So Litter doesn't we'll move. They're just coming back here. They got their eyes on the other Tyrant effects. Just so they can see the Tyrant effect. Advancing your Demon Prince, who can still charge afterwards. So 15 inches total. I definitely get some in here. As close as he can. Might as well try to take out his own throat, right? And then and it's we'll small arms fire that does it. It's never the big stuff. Move those guys up to there. Second phase, what's the one thing you're going to try to do? We're going to try to smite. You know what? I won't try to stop it. You're minus one, so you get it, just barely. I will try to deny it, however. Oh! Let me D3 mortal wounds. One. Oh, why not, right? It's down to ten. Over here, we're going to be doing a bunch of shooting. Are you going to throw a frag grenade too? I will throw the frag grenade. So six first. auto pistols and a frag grenade. Do the frag grenade first. D6, and then, so oh, six plus six. So 12 shots. Ah, but it's oh, right, he's I'll a different I'll do the six uh, frag grenades. Threes. You know you've been rolling six for all your D6s? Yeah, I know I have. It doesn't usually amount to anything, but it's no. cool looking. Five's the wound. Oops. Yeah, see, one wound. Three up in volume. Hey, I got through. He told you it's small stuff. One. It's like those kinetic shields in Stargate. It's like they can do like an arrow and those get through, but not bullets. Shoot. And six more auto pistol shots. Fours. Fours. Yeah. And I uh, really sucked. And fives. Yeah. And oh, look at that. One more. See? Watch, watch, watch. Oh. oh. I was proven wrong. So one wound on his own throat, so he's down to two. And now we have the obliterators who are going to try to take out the Tyrant effects. So we're going to do the back unit because they don't get rerolls. Six like... plus D, uh, D3 dam or oh, yeah, strength. Yep. So strength. Oh, strength nine, AP. Well, two. two. That's great. And damage. Can you get more than one? Two. two. Hey, you know what? That's, That's pretty darn pretty good. good. So you got threes to hit. Yep. No rerolls. Oh, only one miss. And threes, threes to wound. Wow. This is actually probably going to kill him. Wow. This is going to one shot him. We had one more right here. Yep. AP minus two. Minus two, so I get five up saves. These are two, two damage, damage apiece. Well, if I spike my five up, you just don't kill him. He has two wounds left. Down to two. So Probably. what's their target? I got a few choices. Just not this Tyrant effects who's locked in combat. So the other unit, let's roll the strength and stuff first. Strength six becomes seven, seven. unfortunately. AP one. Three damage, damage three. though. Ooh. 
Okay. So all the shots, or you're declaring no, them into the zone? we're gonna split fire, we're gonna split fire. So one of them into the zone throat, so one, one of them? into the, yeah. Okay. Which one first? Uh, so we'll do into the Tyrannifax. Three's to hit. Reroll ones, because you got the Demon Prince here. Ooh, two twos. Three hits. Fives. So these are fives to wound. Nothing. Nothing. Into the zone throats. Threes to hit, rerolling one, so it's almost all hit. Five hit. Threes to wound here. Uh, which that one was, was that it? Was three. That was a three? Okay, so yep. four wounds. Yep. Yeah, three damage each, so once again, each failed three up in Vaughn. That's two. So one of them was already down, yep. so he's dead, and I'll just keep the other one. Because once you lose one, they've lost their extra D3 mortal wounds and their extra psychic power, so I'll kill this next one too. And your last two command points will go to Endless Cacophony. Which one's it going to fire again? The one that gets three rolls. Six plus D3, strength eight. Yep. AP minus one, damage. damage two. Not bad. How would you like to do it again? Uh, so we are going to split again into that and then into your... Um, Turvagon? Turvagon. Is that full health? Yeah, but if... if uh, I guess Bracken is... It is Bracken, but... He, yeah. You know what, let's go into the zone throws again. Okay. You change your mind? Change your mind, we're gonna put Get cold all feet, all into the tran yeah. tran effects. So 12 shots. Swall for four. Yeah, because I'm AP minus one only, so I get a four up save. So threes to hit, rerolling ones. So once again, you've only missed once. Yeah, only one miss. Yeah, you're gonna overkill, so bad. Four is to wound, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? Uh, miss, 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 miss. You got six in. Only one of these has to get through. Four up saves. Can I make six four up saves? Yes. No. No. His death throws doesn't matter. There's nobody nearby, so he is dead. Charge phase, Demon Prince going straight in, can't fail it, doesn't want to go anywhere else. And in your aspiring champion, what's his target? Just, just going straight just into his zone throw and neural throw. And the neural throw, okay. Might as well, but. Go. Uh, oh, okay. Eight inch charge. Sure. Oh, yeah. He has what one left? Yeah. yeah one. Combat phase, Demon Prince is going to go first into the Tran effects. So he's, he's got four base attacks. Plus one for his Relic of the Intoxicating Elixir. Um, and then, so I'm going to do three attacks with the Sword and two with the Talon. Which one's better? Sword's AP minus three, Talon's AP minus two. So it's, I like the sword better. It does the same damage, but it's just a way to get one extra attack. Because you could put them all into, yeah. the, into one Yeah, it just gets right. one extra attack this way. And it sure. Kind of works out. So, hitting on. Uh, two, three rolling ones. This is with the sword? Yeah. And I just let me check one. Yeah, okay, so yeah. now I'm understanding yeah. your logic. You thought Sorry. you had to allocate yeah. an attack to the Malefic Talon no. to get his extra no. attack. So four base, plus one extra, one for the, uh, plus and one then the the one Malefic Talon. So yeah. you want to do as many as you can yeah, with the sword, because exactly. it's three damage. Yeah. So sword, two's to hit. Two's to hit. Oh, yeah, that's a hit as well. Yep. And then strength eight because eight, so, of the plus one strength. Yep, so four. Four to wound. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, these were three damage each. You're out of command points, so yeah. what your dice say is what it is. Malefic Talon, two's to hit. Uh, and four. Also four to wound. Yep. And minus two, minus so two. five up. So and two damage. two damage. Okay. Do you want to interrupt? Well, I probably will. Yeah. But I'll let you do your Aspiring Champion first. Yeah, okay. Forgot to mark that he was back up to two. So I, I'll probably interrupt. Let's do your Aspiring Champion first, and then I can interrupt after that. Four try attacks. to try to. I don't know if it's worth it, though. I'd rather... I don't know. Let's just go do your four attacks. Into Zone Thropes? Into uh, Zone Thropes. Yeah. Zone Thropes, there's one down to two wounds. So yeah, you okay. Hitting on? Uh, threes. No, no rerolls. Re one hit. Wounding on? Threes. Rerolling. That was a okay. lot of damage. All right. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use two of my last three command points to interrupt and try to finish him off. I do two damage, so just the, the fact that you're back up to two doesn't make a difference yet. And if you just do one more wound, it brackets him. So I'll put all the attacks into the Mauler Fiend. It's fours and fours. Fours to hit. Again, with the crappy hits. I'm not going to reroll that. I got one command point left. Fours to wound. No. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Here, hit me back on fives I'll because of the one. horror. Rerolling ones because of the Demon Prince. Good thing, because there's two ones in there and no hits. Two. This is with and your strength. One. This is with your three damage talents. Yeah. Strength? Uh, strength eight. So four is to wound. Yep. So yeah, minus three. Six up. That's not so three good. damage. Now he's bracketed, and you still get your... Flashers. Flash, yeah. Hitting on fives as well, re-rolling ones. So we got uh, two hits. Fives. Fives to wound. No. Nothing. Well, the zone throws pile in. I'll have three of them attacking. Try to finish him off. I'll throw the neural throw in at the same time. Yep. So four attacks total, hitting on fours. Woo! Wounding on fours. Hey, we did it! If you fail this three up, you're dead. You're alive! What a surprise! So you did kill something for the long war, so it's worth one victory point normally, but you did the whole the gambit, gambit yeah. thing, so it's worth two. two. You did not get behind any lines. Do you still want to hold on to that one? We're going to hold on to that one. Okay, so two points. 
That brings the score to eight to six. I had said I had seven points before. I forgot the Warlord kill point. So it's actually eight to six for the Tyranids. As we go to Tyranids, turn four. So this is quite the melange going on. So let's see what my three objectives are. Defend to six. This is the Tyranid one. I'll look it up in a second. And secure five. So this one is crush, which is kill an enemy unit with a monster or a unit with at least 10 models. Like, well, uh, no, no, I have to have the unit of 10 or more. So I have to kill it with a monster or a unit of 10 or more. Oh. Yeah, that's options. Yeah, and I think, yeah, you didn't kill any of them. No. So no resurrecting, come on, man. I don't get all my extra points. We need to fall back. Sorry, buddy, you just can't be in there. Make somebody charge you or make them shoot you or something, something. You, you, you know, you know what? The, I big guy, the big monster around and then... Yeah, I'm gonna bring these guys forward. Just, and they're falling back. Or falling forward, whatever yeah. you wanna call it. And Aerothrope will float over him, and he'll look at him, and glare at him, like this, as he floats. Boop! For some reason you weren't able to catch him. I don't know why! Swing the axe! It was really hard! <laughs> I'm gonna move these guys a little bit too. Like so, oh, I forgot Catalyst. <laughs> <laughs> Will I ever remember Catalyst? <laughs> so actually, I'm gonna have him float over there because then I'm gonna try a smite. Smite! Need a five. Got a nine. I will let you. Oh, with that because you're gonna roll a one or two. I have one command point left. One or two. D3. Three. Ah. Does he blow up? He... Sure oh, does! Oh. Woohoo! Uh oh. That might hurt oh. you too. That was six inch bubble, which is the Neurothrope, Termagants, Termagant, and your Demon Prince. So let's start with the Termagants. Okay. D3 mortal wounds. So two of them die. Oh no, two of them died. On to my turbo or Tran effects. Yikes. Two. So he's down to three. I think that brackets him as final bracket. Demon Prince. Demon Prince. I see a three. No, oh, just a one. You know what? That's and a then the Neurothrope. Oh right, Neurothrope. Yeah. Four. One. one. So he's down to four. Demon Prince is down to seven. And then Mauler Fiend. Oh, take him off. Goodbye. Take goodbye. Him and now these guys will smite. They'll hit your Demon Prince. I needed a six, because it was my second smite. Smite! Need a seven. Come on. Come <laughs> on. Uh, yeah, smite. Here all the one, try to get up there. No, okay, so it's two D3 mortal wounds. So four of them die. Seemed like a waste to put it on him, but at the same time, he can obliterate yeah. everything. I am not gonna cast Catalyst. Ha! Huh. Now I won't forget. Now, now I don't have to die. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'll do the horror. Okay. Uh, on these obliterators. Here, roll the one. I got nine. So this is oh, your one to nine? Uh, yeah. Go, go, go. Cocked? Yeah, sure. Reroll it. Reroll it. Whatever. He had denied it. One last smite. Hey, I made it. Close, he's closest. Yeah. He's dead. Closest visible. He's dead. Yay. <laughs> so, shooting phase. I'm going to fire everything at them. Yep. 40 shots. Strength five. Okay. I'm not telling you to remove it because then I automatically get my command. Okay, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna fire everything from these guys into the Demon Prince. The first 30 shots, hitting on fours, we rolling ones. Mm hmm. Fives to wound. We roll ones because there's at least 20 bottles in the unit. Nothing more. Six wounds so far. Three up saves. He takes only one. Fours to hit. We roll ones. I actually have 10 more shots too. Let's throw those in there. Four is to hit. Rerolling ones. Five is to wound. Wow, oh, this is not effective. We got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three up saves. Oh, there we go. That's three more. Three. It's down to three wounds. Then we'll have three death spitters into the demon prince. Four is to hit. Rerolling ones. Hey, pretty good. Five is to wound. Just two. Not enough to kill him. They're minus one, so he gets a four up four. save. Takes two Ooh. more, he's down to one wound. Let's see if we can finish him off with a stinger salvo from the Turbagon. Fours to hit, re-rolling ones. Fives to wound, he got one in there, and it's a minus one, so you got a four 50, up 50, save. 50-50, 50, 50, 50. no re-rolls, he's Amazing. gone. Goodbye. And that's my turn, I have no charges to do. So let's look at objectives. I killed something with a monster or with a unit of 10, both actually. I have started to defend six. I'm never gonna secure five, so I'll throw it away. So I got one point from that, bringing the score up to nine to six. Now things aren't looking too good for you. You still have behind enemy lines. Defend five, five and secure, secure five. five. Well, it is worth three That's points three. to you. 
I guess we gotta play this out. This is turn. This is the bottom of turn four. So then we possibly only have one more turn after yeah. this. So you're just going to make sure you hold are, on to that. We are very, very strategically hiding. Yes. Advance those cultists just to get away, just in case. Strategically you, retreat. Just in case you get defend whatever this one is. What is it? Number four. four. So we'll the obliterators will move, and that's all your guys. Then let's kill some stuff, grab a couple points, and then see what I can do. Okay. Which which unit's gonna fire first? Uh, let's fire the back unit into the. Well, hold on. Let's see what you get first. So six oh, yes, plus yes, yes. what's what's your uh, strength? Is six plus D three. So Oops, strength seven. seven, AP minus one, damage. One, two. two. So what's your target? So You're gonna try to finish him off. Yeah, we're gonna try to finish him strength off. Strength seven, AP minus one, two damage. He's only got three wounds left. Hitting on threes. No, no rerolls. Re now. Yeah. Five. Five is the wound, but two damage each. Two. Ooh. That's enough to kill him, but minus four. one AP, I got four up saves. And I do have one command point left, which I don't need to use. So the next squad, strength six plus three, so three. strength nine, AP minus three, three and damage. Three! Woo! We got it! Now you're... Ah. Now, now <laughs> oh, no. we're split firing. Okay, what are you going to do? First one now firing at... split firing. So we're going to fire half at this, and... Other half? we got to go with the zone ropes. Okay. So we can take them out. First into the Trevagon, hitting on threes. Oh no! You only need one though, it's damage three. Three's to wound. Oh, he survives! Shouldn't have got it. What the is that? Okay, into the zone throps, no problem. Three's to hit. Two's to wound. Oh, come oh on, there's God. two. They'll each kill his own throat. Three up in bones. Oh, goodness. You wanna charge? They're going into- Oh, okay. uh, that's a lot of good overwatch. Yeah, no, we're gonna do it. All right, four, I... four D6 auto hits. So he's hitting you 11, 16 times. Strengths, no, his strength is gonna be much lower. I'm only strength five now, so four is to wound you. Ooh, not very good. So minus two, so four up saves, two damage apiece. Ooh, you made it all. It. Hold on, still got my stinger salvo. Oh, yeah, okay. That's sixes to hit. Let me roll ones, two, four is to, nothing, okay. All right, just do your charge. Just do your charge. And you're uh, barely. Oh yeah, you're in. Bring it on in, brother. And then you can fight. So you're going to bring in those Termagants, yeah, just that. to stop them from shooting, theoretically. And then you're going to all attacks into the Tyrannus, Tyrann effects, I'm assuming? All the attacks into Tyrann effects. So we have six attacks. So six attacks between the two of them. Hitting on. Hitting on threes. Go. All uh -huh. hits. Fives to wound. Only one. Minus one AP, D3 damage, four up save. Die pass. Why can't you make it a little more dramatic? I'm sorry, man! <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit you back. Two attacks, hitting on fours. We need on fours. No. You drag these guys in though. So they're gonna just pile in forward here. And we got like six of them in. Fours and five, nothing. So you score one point and secure objective five, but as long as they don't shoot yep. you off objective five, you'll get two more there. Do you wanna throw away behind enemy lines now? We are gonna throw away behind enemy lines, cause, yeah. Oh wait, I might be in there now, actually. Are they Never mind, they're in, that's another point. I also score two points for holding this objective because I have defend objective six, so that brings the score to 11 to eight for the Tyranids. And I get to draw three more. Defend two, behind enemy lines, and secure two. Oh golly, there's that's two. That's it. That's it for you? Yeah, it's an epic game. Yeah, that's good. Good game. Good game, Matt. Oh man. We both had some bad luck, Yeah. but I'd have to say yours is worse. You failed two charge phases in a row yeah. of getting stuff in. The third charge phase, you finally got traction, but by then, I had shot stuff. down too much stuff. I, I, needed, I needed the Berserkers to get in there to start clearing some of the chaff. And yeah, this, you, this unit just wasn't yeah. going anywhere. And you, you did a good job of starting to kill my monsters. Like, by all means, he should be dying. Yeah. He's just rolled so poorly at the last one. But, um, and like the mortal wounds of the zone throats were good, but not redonkulous. There was a good, at least one psychic phase where they did nothing. But the three Tranifexes and this big blob of um, Turbagons, yeah. or Termagons, and that one Exocrine, I know he only got one round, but... You got two, you got two rounds of shooting. He didn't necessarily do a ton, but he did enough that... He only got one round of shooting. He shot and then he died. No, because I was, I was bottom, so he had... Oh, that's right, that's right. He shot the second time and... Yeah. And... If, like, if I would have went first and was able that's to That's right, because he overkilled the yeah. second one. If I was able to drop in the Obliterator's top of turn two... Then that would have slowed him down. a big difference fighting a list like this, because then I'm starting to delete the, the bigger the stuff. The heavy hitters, yeah. right. Uh, you did a good job of getting through there. Just a little, luck was a little bit not on your side combined with I think my firepower was just pretty good. Kronos, High Fleet Kronos worked out pretty well. Rerolling ones to hit was nice. Denying your psychic powers a couple critical times was also really nice. So, can't complain about all of that. So, well, so thank you so much for the game, Adam. Thank you, Matt. It was a pleasure. I did not 
honor Dave with a chaos victory over yeah, the right. but I'm convinced at this point nobody can. That's still, <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Chaos based Marines are tough. Are tough right now. There are ways to do it, but there's the, it's tough to make them work really, really well. Uh, Tyranids aren't exactly top tier, but still, this was, I think this is a pretty solid list now that I've tried it out. But uh, we shall see. Thanks so much for watching. Happy Wargaming.